Now, if I wouldn't have had that gun, it would have been a different story for us. Right now at 6, a homeowner takes action when a man tries to break into his home. Tonight, he's talking to First News about the scary encounter. Good evening, I'm Mandy Noel. And I'm Dave Says. It happened just after midnight. First News has been following this story on all of our newscasts so far today. And we've learned what happened when that homeowner confronted the suspect. It's our top story at 6. Police in Morton say a homeowner's ability to stay calm under pressure prevented a dangerous situation from turning into a tragedy. 911, what's your emergency? Somebody's breaking into our house. Ken and Heather York were sleeping in their home in Warren when their dog started to growl. Then they heard smashing glass. Well, he was making all kinds of noise. Yeah. I thought you were supposed to be quiet if you're a burglar. A large man had broken down a fence, busted open the door, and was coming inside. There was me coming in at. York told the burglar he had a gun and ordered the man to leave. What size of gun is that? I said big enough to kill you, and he come at me again. He pulled the trigger once. My husband shot him. My okay. husband shot him. All right. Suspect Billy Morrow Sr. was shot once in the arm. Police quickly arrested him. He has a lengthy criminal record and has served time in prison. Police Captain Rob Masucci says York did the right thing. He warned the burglar and then protected himself. It's dark, it's nighttime, this guy's coming in your house and now he's about twice the size of you. York said he only thought about protecting his family. He kept coming. What are you supposed to do? I can buy other <laughs> but I can't replace my life or hers. York will not face charges in the case. Mara was charged with aggravated burglary. The suspect is being held in the Trumbull County Jail until his arraignment. In Warren, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.